Welcome back, Geordie lads. And today we're going to be doing some transfer news. This is my first one this window. I know you'd be expecting a lot more, but big but there hasn't been much to report on. If you've been watching the oh the thing about. Where we will go on all the twenty Premier League clubs on Sky Sports, um, you would have heard that there hasn't been much news to report on. But if you haven't had that, you can catch up on all of them on your YouTube. So if you want to go and look at them, go to Sky Sports YouTube channel and you'll see why I haven't been making as much transfer videos. But we have some news to report on. Last night, slash yesterday, we had a bid accepted of 45 million to for Anthony Gordon from Everton. And and at eight o'clock today we have We have seen some pictures online saying he has arrived at the training ground at about 8 o'clock. So, this means he has came for his medical. So, he's probably just about finishing his medical as we speak right now at nearly 11 o'clock in the morning. So, so um, hopefully... That he passes that bit, and then that means he can go on to the hospital, and and we can um he'll pass that one, and then he'll go to St James's Park to the stadium. They'll probably show him around a little bit, and then he'll finalise the deal, and we're going to see his stats right now. So, I've searched Anthony Gordon's stats on Google and we have found some interesting things. For this season, he has played 16 games and have only scored three goals. So, Anwan's doing better than him this season. So, let's search up Anwan's stats and see if, see how much better and one's doing. I know he scored nine goals in this, this season, but I don't know how many games he has played. So that's the EFL Cup, so that's so that's not what we're looking for. So he's done it in 20 games. So he's done it in four more games. So he's had more chances to score than Gordon has. But still, it still shows that, could this be a bad signing? No, to me, it's not. It's a no-brainer. But last season, 35 Games played, four goals, two assists. I know two of them came against Chelsea and Manchester United and won no wins in big games for them. But we've got to remember, Gordon's playing in an Everton side who are not doing too well this season or last season. So it is pretty hard for him to get chances when they're getting pushed back by teams like Brentford, Brighton, Forest. Walls, all those kind of teams, and they don't know how to play football. Basically, it seems like. Obviously, with Gordon, he has um done some scuffles with our teammates in the past, but that's okay. We can get used to it. But the thing is, he has. Done pretty well at Everton, and obviously he's been recognised by our manager and Dan Ashworth. So there's he did have a spell at Preston, I see. He also played one game in Europa League. He did have a spell at Preston where he played eleven games, no assists for other Everton under twenty threes. He had a good season in 2019 where he scored nine goals when he played nine games and got six goals. That's 
it's a decent season for them. We'll, we'll score one. Everton in the 21s. Two goals, one assist there in the 2019-20 season. Everton in the 18s. Oh, 17-18 season. 15 games, 14 goals, 4 assists. That's a good season. So, like I said before, that is a no-brainer. I think he'll be a good signing and hope. Hopefully, we can get it done sooner rather than later instead of announcing a couple of signings on the day we play Southampton. That would be absolutely maverick. So, as you can see, I'm not making this up even though all of you probably have seen this, but sometimes people can say, oh, you're just making all this stuff up. It's even on Google. But I think we found some interesting things about his stats, to be honest. Yeah, we have. So, in my opinion, like I've just said there, it's a noble amount to sign him. And hopefully, we can sign him by the end of this weekend. Hopefully, either tonight or tomorrow, we'll see... Anthony Gordon in a town top. He, I don't... Also, quick stat I didn't check up on. I don't think he's played for England. I think he's only played for England under 21s. Anyways, all the way through this window, we have been looking for backup right back. To for If in if Trippier gets injured, they can come into his place. And there's been quite a lot of talks with with Tam over there, right back, Harrison Ashby. I hope I've said that right. He didn't start in West Ham's game, in West Ham's under twin, in West Ham reserves game last night. So that means he is probably wanting to play. He's he wanting to push this move, and in my opinion, it's a smart move because. Our backup right backs are Mankeo, Kraft, who's injured, and a couple of others. And it's like, we can't be having that. So, in my opinion, he's a good player. But, I'm going to show you his stats. So, when searching up how to last we stats, I have found something very interesting. So... We're going to switch over to the news and we've had a bid rejected in the past nine minutes. So, it is sure that we are interested in him. It does say that we've had a bid rejected in an hour, but you are all getting first-hand news now from me. So, I'm going to, I'll search this up. After we have looked at his stats. So, this season he has played five games for Everton, West Ham's even, under 21. Scored no goals but one assist. That's good for a right back though. Because right backs, you, we all know, it's hard to score. He's played a couple of games in the 12th. He scored a goal there. That's a good season. 21 games, two goals, five assists. Four games there, two, two um, assists. One game there, no goals, no assists. A couple of bars. Yeah, so he kind of gets in their squad every so often. He's not a regular starter, even in the under twenty ones or anything. There you go, two goals, one goal. So that basically tells you that. He is a backup. He's not coming in to take Trippier's spot. Because Trippier has just signed a contract till 2025. So he's not coming in to take Trippier's spot or anything. But I'm, I'm just happy how we found this kind of news when I wasn't even looking for it today. I was looking to look at his stats. So I'm going to 
search this stuff up and I'll get back to you in a minute. With reading that, I have got a load of transfer news for you guys. So, we are still looking for a striker after Chris Wood has went on warned to Nottingham Forest. We are also looking for another midfielder with Shelby's injury that looks like it's going to be a little bit longer. We are linked with Musa Diabe. You would remember we went for him for either in the summer, we went for him in the summer and also last January. Buying him and also Gordon will give us real depth in the transfer positions. Also, we are looking a midfielder from Wolves, Ruben Neves. This could push Bruno up. Excite, it's going to be exciting final, how many days? Today, tomorrow, Monday. Final, a good, a good final four days. Busy four days for Newcastle United. Plus, we have the EL, ESL Cup semi-final second leg at St. James Park to come up. But after all, we don't know the exact price for the bid rejected for Ashby yet. It, it got revealed at half nine when reading that. So, from Sky Sports. So, if you've got to search up something from Sky, they might give you more info than I can. This thing, I don't know if it's true, but on this Chronicle that I do read quite a lot, it has, it's, they said we are also interested for DR or a centre back from Rio ready to prepare a £17 million bid. So we have found some very interesting stuff today. It wasn't even meant to, we just went to look up Ashby and Gordon. Instead, I have found a, a lot of things for you guys. So hopefully, you guys has enjoyed this video hopefully i'll give you some good news and there will be more videos coming soon with all this thing we've had today see you guys in the next one bye